Hi everyone, my name is Silvio Perez and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'll be showing you how to create a design study to find the optimal design for your part. In this example here we have a part knob and we want to satisfy the design constraint of having a minimum factor of safety of 2. So if I run my static study and plot my factor of safety, I actually see that I have a minimum factor of safety of 9.8. So there's quite a bit of variables and parameters I can change of this model to satisfy my design constraint. I could run individual static studies and array those parameters. That, however, would take a long time to actually set up and run each study separately. What I can do instead is take advantage of our design study tool. What this allows me to do is vary parameters of my current model and run separate studies to find the best design that fulfills certain constraints and goals. So let's take a look and see how that works. I can right click on my study tab here and select to create a new design study. We then get introduced to our design study tool. You see that we have to specify variables, constraints, and goals. So let's go one by one and see how that works. If I click on my pull down menu here, it's telling me to click here to add a variable. Then it tells me to add a parameter. These parameters can actually be dimensions of the actual model. In this case, the only thing that I want to vary is the height of the cylindrical body. So what I can do here in my parameters window is specify our name of our parameter, which in this case will be the cylindrical height. Then I can specify my category, which will be our model dimension. Then we can just click on the actual dimension there, and you see that it gets linked to our, to our menu. If I hit apply and then OK, you see that that parameter got added in our variable section. I can then switch over to table view, and you see that there's three scenarios checked. I actually want to run three separate scenarios and vary the dimension for each scenario. So what I can do now is specify what that dimension needs to be. So for my first scenario, this will be 15. For my second scenario, it will be 20. And for my third and last, it will be 25. Now I want to add a new parameter. Starting in 2013, you can actually add a material as a parameter. So I click on my pull down menu again, I can specify to add a parameter, name my parameter material, and then change my category to material. Then I can hit apply and then OK. And you actually see now that I can specify material for each scenario. So if I click on that icon there, it takes me to the material library and I actually have a few materials that I, that I separated. For my first scenario, I'm going to apply acrylic. Hit apply and then close and you see that that material got added to our design study. I can then select the materials for scenario 2 and 3. And now we're done with our variables. The next thing that we need to do is actually define our constraints. These are going to be the conditions that the study must satisfy. So if I click on my pull down menu here, it's telling me to add a sensor. So if I click on add sensor, the first constraint that I want to show is my mass properties. So if I hit OK, I can then change this to have a constraint to have a value that's greater than, less than, or in between, or monitor only. In this case, I just want to monitor the mass. For my second constraint, I actually want to specify the factor of safety. So if I click on Add Constraint, Add Sensor, I can change my sensor type to Simulation Data, change my data quantity to Factor of Safety, and then hit OK. In this case, I want to specify that the value has to be greater than the minimum value of 2. And that's it. You see here that we have a section to specify a goal. This is actually specific to an optimization study. An optimization study is actually available for simulation professional and above. But what it does is it actually allows you to specify certain goals such as minimize the weight. And then it will run through each scenario and find the best design for you. In this case, I want to run the design study without optimizing. So if I uncheck and then run, you see that it's running four different scenarios, which is going to be our initial condition and then the three scenarios that we created. Now that we ran the study, we actually see that scenario one is the best scenario that fulfills our design constraint of having a minimum factor safety of two. And it's actually the one that has the less weight. So in this case, I would probably go with scenario one for my design. 
In today's video, we covered how to create a design study and various certain parameters to find the best design. Thanks for watching.